Greetings. This is Mayor Jerome Prince, City of Gary, with your COVID-19 update for April 22nd, 2020. As you know, we remain under an extended stay-at-home order issued from Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb, and as we repeatedly say, we support this order because we now discover that it works. We know by limiting our travels to essential business only that we can cut back on the number of people who come in contact with, and that helps us reduce the risk of spreading the COVID-19 virus. Yesterday, Governor Holcomb discussed our interactions with our bordering states. In Gary, we're very close to Cook County, Illinois, and Chicago, and that's a hot spot for us and for the COVID-19 virus. In fact, we're sandwiched between two hot spots when you consider that we are in between Michigan as well as Illinois. What that means is that our state and our city can open back up, but only if the conditions change. In fact, the order from the governor is that later this month, possibly as early as next month, uh, he expects to be able to lift the stay-at-home order. But until then, we absolutely must remain village, vigilant. Just because we're able to slowly move towards normal does not mean that the pandemic is over. We must still wear our mask and our gloves, and we must limit our travels if we want to avoid spreading this virus any further. Social distancing works. In Gary, Indiana, the spread of the COVID-19 virus has not slowed down yet. That means that we have much to do, and it's all of our responsibilities to do our part to fight this virus. On yesterday, Indiana National Guard General Dale Lyles, the Adjutant General for the State of Indiana, indicated that the National Guard and the U.S. Army Corps of Army Engineers will deliver 50 augmentation packages to Gary. Those packages will consist of the materials necessary to establish a field hospital in the event that our numbers elevate to a level that requires us to have additional care facilities. These packages are basically beds and other gear, as I said, for the field hospital. And uh, for the record, they will be kept in a secure and undisclosed location until they're needed. As more people come out of their homes, we will likely see an increase in the spread of the virus. If the virus overwhelms our current medical facilities, we will be able to launch a field hospital right here in Gary using the packages that were delivered by the U.S. National Guard, the Indiana chapter of the U.S. National Guard. I want to thank Governor Holcomb, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Indiana National Guard, General Lyles, and our own health commissioner, Dr. Roland Walker, for tirelessly working with this city to bring a field hospital and to keep our residents safe. Now I'll turn to Dr. Walker, who will share today's updates and the specific numbers relative to the COVID-19 virus. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, citizens of Gary, for having you have me in front of you again today. Uh, as I share with you the first, the numbers uh, as they relate to the state of Indiana. Um, so far in the state of Indiana, 69,470 people have been tested. Uh, of that, 12,438 have been positive, and we've had a total deaths, unfortunately, of 661 people. Um, in the in the city of Gary, Indiana, we actually have not really slowed down yet, okay? Um, so in the city of Gary, we've had a total of 299 people that tested positive, and we've actually had nine deaths in the city of Gary. Looking at Lake County, we've actually had uh, 1,292 people test positive, and Lake County has seen 57 deaths. Now, when we talk about um, social isolation and social distancing, um, that's not really natural for human beings, right? So this is a concerted effort that we have to make. People are social in nature. Uh, we like gathering together. Particularly, um, we're asking our adolescent population, right, to do something that's not in their nature. 
We're asking them to spend more time with their family. We're asking them to stay indoors. Uh, we're asking them not to venture out. So I just want to make sure that we are particularly uh, paying attention to our adolescent, adolescent population, our teenagers, and knowing that they are going against what is their nature. So we want to help them to get through this time, particularly as it warms up. And they're going to want to go out and go to the beaches and gather together. They're going to want to go out and play basketball together. And that's not going to be helpful at this time. So we just want to um, make sure that we are paying attention to our adolescents. Also, um, we want to pay, um, give a lot of respect to our teachers right now. Because as our kids are home, um, I think uh, just like I am as a parent, we're realizing that it's kind of hard to be around um, our kids all the time and help them with their learning. So you know, as we go through this, we've got to remember that our teachers do an excellent job. They do this daily with, with, with your children and usually 20 to 25 other children in the classroom on a daily basis. So we want to, on today, remember that the teachers do an excellent job. Um, and to the citizens of Gary, um, I think that we have done a very good job of social isolation. And that's why we've been able to keep the numbers fairly low, although we're still increasing in the city of Gary. Um, there is testing. So testing continues today at St. Timothy Community Church. We have drive-up testing today from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. There's testing at the, um, at the Gary Health Department by appointment, and that is generally from 9 a.m. to 12. And then we have some of our health care facilities that are doing testing now. So Edgewater um, Health is doing testing in their offices. So is Community Health. They're doing testing in their offices. And then Methodist Hospital is doing drive-up testing uh, by appointment at the emergency room. We also want to remind our citizens now that we are doing testing for STDs again at the, ho at the Gary Health Department by appointment in the afternoons from 1 to 4. And that's very important. We want to make sure we continue to do our surveillance for sexually transmitted diseases and we continue testing there. And I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. So we want to thank Dr. Walker for his uh, update and the uh, stats that he shared with us today. One of the things that he didn't mention is that uh, as we continue to address and uh, face the adversities that are associated with the COVID-19 virus, we continue to look for other opportunities to ensure that our constituencies are safe. One such method is by searching out additional uh, testing opportunities. And to that extent, hopefully very soon, we will be able to announce uh, at least efforts along those lines. We want to certainly make sure that our most vulnerable population is tested. Uh, but in the best case scenario, we certainly would like to provide that opportunity for everyone to be tested. Uh, I think Dr. Walker briefly mentioned the fact that the antibody test uh, will be available soon, and that's certainly another avenue that he's exploring in an effort to make sure that everyone in Gary is safe and certainly is aware of their particular COVID status. In closing, <clears throat> I just want to say that we certainly have a long way to go. The virus is not going to just disappear, and uh, it's going to continuously look, look for new victims, and it uh, will undoubtedly continue to spread throughout the community. The best thing that we can do to slow down that spread and to protect ourselves is to continue to adhere to the directives of social distancing and not congregating in groups of 10 or more. Obviously, we need to wash our hands, but in the event that you are an unfortunate uh, person and you are afflicted with the COVID-19 virus, there are specific criteria and protocol that you should follow. Uh, first and foremost, contact your health care provider. But in the event that you need additional information, you can certainly call the Gary Health Department uh, and Dr. Walker staff will certainly give you proper direction and try to provide additional information for you to do that. Even if we can't stop the virus, we certainly can slow it down. And to that extent, I just want to continue to encourage everyone to stay at home, stay your distance, and remind you that we will get through this together. 
As always, I encourage you to check on your neighbors, your family and friends who uh, certainly the ones who are part of the vulnerable population, but those who don't have access to social media or even these uh, daily updates. And please share the word. That information that you share with the next individual could possibly save their lives. Once again, I thank you and we look forward to speaking with you this Friday.